Good morning, good morning, guys and gals. Welcome, welcome. We are getting ready to hit the road again. <clears throat> Been up for a little bit, but not for too super long, right? But yeah, we made it up here last night, and uh, now we just finished doing our pre-trip and uh, just barely took our 10-hour break. Now it's time to hit the road again, as we like to say it. And it is another gorgeous, gorgeous day out there today. It really is. <clears throat> yeah, I know we gotta figure out how we're gonna... How we're gonna get out of here. Yeah. This is a very small truck stop, but... I like going here, though. And I could have actually met up with a friend of mine, but uh, <coughs> I'm actually under the gun, right? So I can't afford to spend any more time in in here than uh, my 10-hour break, right? So I can't afford to uh, really meet up with anybody, right? I'm just waiting for this four-wheeler to go all the way. There we go. I don't want to cut him off, right? But yeah, my buddy just lives just down the road here, and I met up with him here before, and uh, very, very nice guy, but there's no restaurant right here at this truck stop, so then we always have to drive somewhere else to uh, go have us a bite to eat and whatever, right? Mm. So, it's 0 .2 miles then, to the entrance to the left you know, on you're looking, uh, east. you're looking at uh, quite quite a bit of time you know probably at least an hour maybe even an hour and a half to go somewhere and have a bite to eat and he's not a much of a morning person either so and it's you know 8 30 in the morning right now but so he might not uh, even be up just yet <laughs> he's usually only up around 10 so if you're watching there Valentine. I know uh, I would have loved to meet up with you, but this time under, I'm under the gun, so we can't. But anyhow, I'm enjoying this nice sunny day. Yeah. Are you guys having a fantastic weekend? And believe it or not, by the time you actually see this, it's only a couple of days before Christmas. Because Tuesday is going to be Christmas. <laughs> by the time you watch this anyways. Ooh, look at that sun, eh? Man, that's bright. Ay, ay, ay. I might want to put on my shades here. That's bright. Yikes, yeah. That is definitely bright. But yeah, we still have uh, 1,152 miles to go according to my GPS to make it up to Clinton, Massachusetts. So, uh, I'm going to try and drive at least 600 miles today again. So that way I'm very, very close to, you know, well, I mean, maybe down to 500 miles for tomorrow, right? So that would be awesome. Yeah, let's turn my single light on so people know I want to come onto the highway, right? Yes, indeed. Continue on this road for 47 miles. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll probably, uh, I don't know for sure, but I'm kind of thinking about, uh, we'll see how, how, how much fuel, I still have half a tank of fuel, I can probably make it up into Ohio, so, originally I was thinking maybe stopping in South Beloit, making me a pit stop there, and then, uh, fueling up and whatever, but I might actually make it into Ohio or Indiana or whatever up there, and maybe go and fuel up over there somewhere and go take me a shower over there and continue on with our journey, right? We're gonna probably do the same thing today as what we did yesterday, pretty much keep that left door closed and don't stop too many times throughout the day, right? Yeah, guys, we have now made it into Chicago already. Been going for a little bit, uh, about three hours now. And, uh, I decided not to stop in uh, in South Beloit there and uh, fuel up and all that good stuff. I decided I'm going to go ahead and continue on uh, a little bit further down the road. Uh, figured, uh, eh, I'm not ready to stop just yet. And I like to drive a little bit more than three hours usually. 
in the morning before I stop so this way uh, when I do stop then uh, I don't have to drive another eight hours right so so what I like to do is at least drive three and a half to four hours and then stop because if I park somewhere then and then take my half an hour break then uh, you know I'm down to like seven hours of remaining drive time right so this way you know I have a little bit of time and and plus you know it gets you a good start in the day right well yeah, look at this we're in Chicago and it's a beautiful sunny day I was looking at the radar again this morning and apparently it's a fairly slow moving system so I might be running into clouds at the minimum later today but it's also a chance that I might run into the rain but we'll see one mile. Keep to the right we'll on see. But anyways, we're uh, we're just cruising right along here. It's uh, Saturday today, and I am starting to feel a little bit better. I had a pretty good night's sleep. Cooked me a little bit of meal there last night for supper. Well, it was already pre-cooked, but just had to heat it up and had me good supper and had a good night's sleep. That's for sure. Now we're just trying to get to uh, Chicago and get back on the uh, toll road on the other side on I-80 and just give her, right? <laughs> yeah. Just made me a little bit of a pit stop here at this rest area. I've been driving for a good while already, so I decided to uh, go ahead and pull in here. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. So I decided I'll go in here, use the man's room, and then... Uh, get my Burton oven out and that's exactly what I did Continue on this road got it out miles. and uh, plugged it in put my pan of food into it now we're gonna go ahead and uh, warm that up and then we'll go down the road a little bit further and then we'll uh, have us good lunch I haven't eaten anything today yet so I'm starting to get a little bit hungry now so so yeah, let's pull in here and, uh, <clears throat> I, you know, had to use the men's room anyways and uh, pull in here and uh, get my uh, Burton oven going and get ready to start cooking me some lunch. Yeah, and as I told you guys earlier, you're going to start to get to see the clouds a little bit pretty soon, right? And that's exactly what's happening. Yes, indeed. You can now see the clouds. And Jukebox is a little bit further south, and he said it's raining up there, so... You know, I mean, I don't really mind the rain, as long as we don't get ice rain, right? That's the one thing I'm worried about most, but... I sure hope we don't get that. But we are down to 856 miles right now to go to get to our customers so you know we're doing pretty good in all reality we really are I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <clears throat> probably uh, go down here to uh, either the next rest area or a little bit past that there is a uh, a uh, truck stop there there is a uh, petrol truck stop there and I'll probably go in there and uh, fuel up the truck and I might just go in there and take me a shower as well but yeah that's what the plan is anyways we'll see how it goes almost every time I go to that truck stop it's raining but oh well that's just how it goes right but anyhow let's go ahead and continue on cruising along here and uh see what happens right decided to go ahead and park at this uh, rest area and uh, guess what this is going to be my dessert these are really 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 good <clears throat> and I'm just kind of waiting on all of this stuff to uh, finish warming up yeah I just kind of put it upside down so it doesn't stay uh, heated just on one side because then it's a chance of actually burning to the plate right so I don't really want that to happen right so I figured I'd turn it upside down for a few minutes and then you know I'll kind of flip it around for a little bit but I was looking at the uh, phone here <clears throat> on my app to see uh, 
where the next available loves truck stop would be and it's actually going to be uh, only about two hours worth of driving from here where that next loves is going to be so I said you know what instead of going up to this Petro then I think I'm just gonna go up to there and then I'll uh, fuel up over there go take me a shower over there and I was looking at it and it looks like I can make it up to the TA in uh, PA in Pennsylvania there on the I-90 tonight so I was looking at the history there a little bit and it looks like you can still find parking there at 9 10 o'clock at night so I should be all right be able to find a parking spot there tonight so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and have me lunch I'm hungry I'm starving time to go ahead and get out of here out of this rest area we've had our uh, lunch now so it is time to get back at it again yeah, that is about 45 minutes off I guess well, I had to change the uh, the ND filter on the GoPro as well because it's uh, quite dark now, right? And I had the ND8 filter on it before, <clears throat> so that makes everything a lot darker, right? So because it's so dark, it has to raise the ISO because it's trying to make it bright enough for the day, right? <clears throat> so I decided I have to change it so I put the lowers ND filter on there that I have which is an ND2 which is very very light tint onto it but I did leave the uh, Continue on this second road for 173 miles. Uh, filter on there as well that's a clear glass at the bottom with a blue tint on the top a little bit so it makes the sky look a little bit bluer which that can be that can look pretty neat <coughs> But yeah, we got about two hours to that Love's truck stop, so we'll go ahead and hammer down and get down to that uh, Love's truck stop, and then we'll go in and fuel up, probably go in and take us a shower as well. I do need one, I really do, so uh, yeah, so let's make it over there, and uh, we just came to a complete stop here. I don't know exactly what's going on up here, but... Somebody must have hit the ditch or something, but they actually blocked the whole road here for a second, but Looks like they got everything under control. Oh, yeah, somebody went off into the ditch over there. It must have been this truck or something <clears throat> Probably being distracted driving. That's probably what it was But anyways We're good. We're good. At least it wasn't a long delay. So Yeah Turn off my four-way flashers. Don't need them anymore, right? But yeah, we're just giving her today again, that's for sure. I made it as far as to the TA up here in Kingsville, Ohio. And that's kind of what my plan was, uh, make it around this area. So I could have made it probably up to the other TA there in PA. <clears throat> but I said, you know what? it's okay i can park here for the night i looked it up on google i think and it was only about 550 miles from here to get down to clinton to my delivery so i said nah i'm just gonna stay right here and call it a day so that's exactly what he ended up doing unfortunately when i uh, <clears throat> pulled into the loves i decided not to go have a shower i figured i'll do it today somewhere on the road here and uh because i want i was worried about finding me parking right so i decided now nah, i'm not going to waste <clears throat> any more time of doing that but i was also going to say that uh angelo apparently saw me there on the parent pike he was on it and i was on it too and <clears throat> it was right there at one of them uh travel uh, toll plazas and uh, I don't know I'm having issues with mine uh, for some odd reason like I have it over there on the dashboard never had any issue with it and all of a sudden now on this particular trip it's not working so uh, every time I come up to a toll booth <clears throat> if there is nobody in the booth I gotta press the help button and then either somebody comes or or it phones somebody and then I gotta give them the serial number of the easy pass and then uh, they uh, type that manually in and then the gate opens so then I'm good to go so <clears throat> it's kind of a bummer but 
I sure don't want to pay cash for it. That uh, would be a lot of money going through all these toll booths, but hey, that's how it goes. So I guess on Monday, I'm going to have to call my safety department and let them know that it ain't working anymore. And hopefully they have a new one in stock or, or, or whatever that works and they can uh, swap it out with this one and send this one in and see what's going on with it, right? But anyways, I'm done for today, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, start working on my videos and all that fun stuff. So appreciate you guys watching again. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.